Don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Don't push the Mario man. Get in the car, useless. This thing into my head. Life actors never rehearse and need no script, Amy. That was said by somebody really spaced out. And I'm going to say it again, like the wind which keeps blowing, or the sun which shines with light. Will you please leave? You smell, and you talk really weird, and you're just really gross. Not until I tell people out there, become an internationalist. Learn oral traditions. Learn to respect life. Make war on machines. Marry your mother. Technology will enslave us. Buy my book! It's printed on bar. Okay, okay. Let's take a quick call. Hello, you're on K-Chat. What's your name? Hey, it's Manuel from Front Island. I love the show. Yeah, I want to talk about technology enslaving us. You know that play, In the Future There Will Be Robots? Well, that's a true story. In the future, there will be robots. And I'm going to hack them all. I'll make them say funny things. You know, I can move satellites around with my computer. Computers are evil. The Luddites are evil. Protection needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not my head again. Gives a cotton I don't candy. need this crap. These idiots operate out of DBP security around the block. You guys just Take sort it out easy, amongst yourselves. Man. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I share my life with a number of valuable partners, and we commune with each other in a non judgmental, expressive way. Old maid, my mom calls her. Anyway, let's go to the boat. You're on K-Chat. Uh, yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was great, really interesting. I, I, I'm, I'm British, you see. Like our ancient oh, wood-wearing queen, Medusa. M M Is wrong. But you must hit Freddy with your broom! You're trying Freddy's to be patient, very naughty and not learn his spells! Hit me, Harry Legs! Hit me! I deserve it! Prank caller! Prank caller! Sorry, listeners. Somebody call the IRS. Who let that guy in the country? Yes, poor man. So lost in ill at ease with his father, son, and mother nature. I hope he finds what he needs. And I need to take a commercial break. Yes, good luck. Yes, I hope you find what you're looking for. And I sincerely hope you will take a bath. We'll be back after this. You're on. Tommy, remember me? Hello, Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons, busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy, because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. Now on beta and PHS. Remember, to win a game of football or life, you have to annihilate everything in your past in a blind race. Ever since Linda started working, our kids have been alone. We tried hiring a nanny, but she wanted health insurance. Yeah, right. That's what we got the mess to buy. Tommy, we gotta talk about stuff. What's the problem, Lance? It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. 
You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me any time. Tommy, I've done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. God, I just got flattened by a truck. How is that fair? This is sports legend, BJ Smith. So, BJ, welcome. Thanks. It's real. What the driver, bugger? Football and baseball aren't the same. And one of them, you get bored during a five-hour game. You touch yourself a lot and start a massive brawl with the players who are degenerates, egomaniacs, and criminals. The other's football. Yes, but it's all the same. No, Amy, it isn't. Anyone can hit a home run. In baseball, you stand around the field, then... been in the trenches getting Agent Orange sports drink poured all over his head to keep him from taking an innocent life. One is a game for men, the other is a game for pansies who like wearing button-down shirts. They call baseball a national pastime. If that means making a million dollars by standing around all day, count me out. I'll work for my money. Yeah, BJ, just like me, I can tell you. Yo, baby, it's cool. I just want you to know what I did. I do. Jeez, get over yourself. You must have a testosterone imbalance like all those jocks who shower with other men. You can't tell me you don't look at other people's business. Hey, I played professional sports for 14 years, including high school, and I'm making a comeback. I'm a very competitive person, I grant... You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so... I don't know, the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. And somebody tipped off the cops, but everything What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump! Good plan. Let's go. All right. Okay, Lance, let's get the cops' attention. Get home and listen to more Flash! If it's popular, we do it! Flash FM, totally awesome! Think good about life. Uh-huh, and what's that? Death. Death? Yeah, and dying. That's good, too. And black. And the moon. At least when you're dead, you can go around as an astral body and visit places like New Orleans. I love New Orleans. It's really hot and depressing. Oh, death is good! Is it? Yeah! What? If you're going to inherit a lot of money? Yeah, no, I mean, yes, but also if you can be positive and upbeat about things. I mean, like my parents were brutally murdered a few years ago. Yeah, and I was really bothered, but I kept smiling and I got a lot out of it. I'm a much better person today having dealt with that. They were killed so I could have a great birthday. Now that got them really irritating. Now. Lucky bastards. I wish someone would kill me. Then I can hang out in a graveyard all the time instead of just on weekends. I know I'm really lucky to have the opportunity to learn about life. You can't control everything in life, so start a day with a smile and you'll end a day with one. What do you start a day with, Constantinos? Usually with a pint of blood, it does. Then I light some candles and cry. <laughs> Okay, moving on before we're all sick. No worries, I do, because I won't be constrained by you. Life is cheap. Tie him up again. And then you die Ooh, if you prepare fits for the perfect. Afterlife. Bit tight around the crotch, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. Why, 
Alright, you need some action? Peace for tonight. All we need is magazines back. Hey, Jackson, tell the captain I saw his wife. No wonder you like her magazines. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge, nice badge. Real smooth, Lance. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get the hell out of here! Please save me from this hellhole, my dear. So ignorant. I'm trying to save you, to save everyone. You don't see the art around you. Are you in search of old Lang Syne's, singing Madame Butterfly on a windowsill, or relegating yourself to a cricket in Huckleberry Finn? I'm a movement that conquers love, while you complain about your dress. Know you not how important my mission be? Okay, Mr. Chesterfield, I mean, <laughs> Mr. Maganot, you gotta hang in there. You're on K-Chat, and I'll be right back. At the law firm of DeLeo and Purex, we understand that sometimes life throws you a curveball. We help our blue chip clients get their lives back after circumstances have conspired against them. Just listen. It was an unfortunate accident what happened to my wife on that precarious cliff. DeLeo and Florex can't bring my wife back, but they made sure I didn't end up in the slammer. I was unfortunate enough to be caught with 15 kilos in my spare time. I was so mad at the auto repair shop that sold me that tire.
Brilliant, bloody brilliant. Hey, Tommy, glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in the Kazi, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Jez, you remember. Love Don't be playing them games with me, mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English. Good See, one America. The, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys totally need some help. Like they ain't too connected here. They don't have no hands, your father. We need some drugs, pal! Gotta get on the old <laughs> love yeah, fest, yeah, nice beauty, yeah. you know? Yeah! Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice, man, gang! Love juice? Aye, two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, we really mean a lot You can do boys. that for the boys, right? Call the socialism in action. From the dam to the farm, central downtown. We begin with the Ammunition Film Festival with free screenings of the documentary Red Dawn. And you're driving protecting your, your rights. You're back on Day Chat with me, Amy, and my special guest. Let's go to the phones. Mr. Maganon, Bruce from Porn Island here. Big fan of the show, Mr. Madge. No big fan. Dude, I don't know about this. Oh, did you get on like, roller coaster rides? I mean, what's the deal? Did you pay half price for the movie? No comment. Next caller. Oh my god, Trump! Looking for something special? I got what, what you need. Thanks for the money, sucker! Uh, next caller. Oh, oh, who's on the line? I mean, who's on line? Oh, what number is it? Who, who's on the line? Hello, Claude. This is Morgan. I'm just vacationing down here, having finished my doctoral thesis into images of young boys in post-lapsarian Greece, and the erotic understatement of the fugue in contemporary Baroque. Fascinating stuff. Do you have a question? I'm confused. No, woman. I just wanted to tell Claude about my thesis and discuss his bleaker death in Venice street period. Of course I have a question, you silly girl. Claude. Hey, mate, the guys could do with some company, if you know what I mean. I know just the girl. Close sequin figure hugging fit and still. Hmm? Oh, and were the sequins a reference to lasers? Yes, yes, my, my, I agree. Thanks for calling. That is an important question. You see, I'm an important person, and I especially think so. It is really important for people to see my form move through space in very tight pants, or the effect is ruined. Interpretive dance cannot be expressed in baggy clothing. It's like a violin parade. Otherwise, why have a love story with a manatee and the lasers? It's very important. You're kind of creepy. You're nothing like you are on the show. You're so funny there, joking with the family and putting out the fire started by the homeless guy and starting group hugs. But in real life, you're just plain creepy. You won't even tell us how old Jimmy is. All you talk about is Archie stuff like that nobody understands because it's complicated and how tight your pants are. That's not true. I also discussed love and passion and amenity and the lasers. You, my dear, could use all three. You, my dear, are a philistine. I'm sorry, but this is one of the most... Hey, Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love this? Okay. But just as a favor, I expect dirty. return. I just sat in something. You did. Our last guest was taken violently ill. Yes, well, such is the plight of radio. Rather than grumble like Leporello or a taxi driver about my duties cleaning the back seat, I shall bid you adieu. Okay, thanks, Todd. Next, we have a very important guest who doesn't dance like a weird jerk. We'll be back right after this. You're on K-Chat. Knights of the Road, here's your stallion. The car for freedom. Freedom. The car for hot excitement. The car for a man who was alone against the elements. The pots of thunder. The pride is back. It's 
unleash the power of a compact. By Fatsu Thunder. On the toll road of life, you have to pay to prove you can. Live the emotion of an individual. The awesome power of nature distilled into one vehicle. It goes after you get struck by lightning. There's my thunder. The my Fatsu Thunder. What's this I found under your bed? The only angles you're going to read is Laura Engels Wilder. If you think you're I see you later, big boy. Here are some warning signs. They read complicated literature and have concern for their fellow man. They even like to share. Tell your kids if someone... Generates, philanderers, liberals, and other evil doers, and expose them for what they really are. Don't waste your money on unnecessary and corrupting material possessions. Give it to me. There's only one thing that will save you. A highly fortified structure in the shape of the most powerful thing on the planet. Me. Degenerates will ruin this great city. In my wonderful book, I tell of the impending disaster about to befall this planet. Nuclear holocaust, plagues of flying rodents, the seas rising up and turning yellow. It is good. It is written by me, but you can save yourself. Contribute to the Pastor Richard Salvation Statue Fund. Pick up your telephone. Call now. 1-866-9-SAVE-ME. Hi, and welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're listening to K-Chat, Vice City's only commercial talk station. The place where the stars shine in conversation with you and me. I'm Amy Schechenhausen. My next guest is a rising star in the world of North mythology. He's appeared in several best-selling... Damn, you How you chicken. doing, mate? It's Paolo again. Look, Tommy, I forgot to mention, we're going to need some extra muscle for the concert. A bit of security. There's a biker gang led by Mitch Baker. It would be great publicity. Very rock and roll, baby. Sort this out for me, and I'll get you some backstage passes for the gig, all right? Up your eyes, child. I read Beowulf. Well, I didn't. I only read the cover. But, like, you're a Viking, right? Did the tunic and goatskin boots give you a clue, maybe? I am a Viking, and a Viking that will not only help you unleash the Furies, but unleash yourself. It's in my Thor's Norse Power program. Okay, I'm a little confused. Well, I'm a lot confused. I was taught in school that Vikings were bloodthirsty and violent. An elder once told me, you must unlearn what you have learned. Of course, then he died of the green thing. There are some Vikings that are a bloodthirsty lot, yes, but no more than anyone else, really. We're a nomadic people, Amy. We have cold fire in our souls. He had that fire too, Amy. You've just lost it since you've gotten television. Now, that being said, I'll answer your question. We are mostly non-violent, though many of the Vikings... Tommy, it's me, Lance. Keep your mouth shut there, Tommy, because I ain't got no time to talk. I ain't interested in what you got to say. Why should I be? You don't care about me, do you? You got to look after me a bit better. Give me a fair slice, you know? It, it, Tommy, man, look, hey, I'm sorry. It's just that people patronize me all my life, treat me like a little kid. My brother would do that. Please, man, don't do that. I got to go. of my book, I talk about listening to the bloodthirsty water spirit. It's really quite important to know once went to Valhalla. I think I went there last night. Oh, no, that was Malibu. But it's the same sort of thing. Valhalla was that golf club, wasn't it? So, 1983. But right, what does being a Viking have to do with anything? This is the 20th century. We have electricity, penicillin, jet planes, implants. Well, I don't, but I want some, but I heard the operation is really gross. You live like it's 982 AD or something. Mind ye tongue, wench, lest I cut it out. Deep down, all of you listening to me say, Thor, yes, I'd like to unleash the Viking within. 
Maybe you go camping once a year or hunting and wonder why it feels so natural. That's because it is. Too much of this denying your instincts. Men shaving. You know, deep down. Where's Baker? I'm looking for Big Mitch Baker. Who's looking? Tommy Rossetti. Rossetti? You don't look like the law, so that's bought you a minute. You better talk fast. Ken Paul said you might be interested in pulling security for a gig he's got set up. Ken Paul? Shh. No wonder he sent you. The last time he was here, he left through the window in nothing but his limey birthday suit. Are you interested or not? We only do favors for our own. How do I join? This ain't no country club, boy. Can you handle a bike? Can you sit on a stool and drink? Cougar! Zeppelin! Go see how this girl handles the bike. Hey, Anthony? Huh. Socialized medicine? All right, fans and blues. Let's see what you can do. It's off. I talk about this in the motivational learning tapes. That, and beware the magpie. This is the devil. He who reigneth with darkness falls. Are you married? You seem like a tough character to live with. Hi, you wife Helga. What a hag. This show is not sexist, whatever certain bearded women might say. Women are people too. I'd appreciate if you wouldn't talk that way. Ah, go live in a chimney each roll. The 20th century women are all the same. And me hag Helga, she felt pretty up any ways. She says to me, Thor, I ain't having no need no more. I'm going to meetings. See? That's your problem. As soon as you sort something out, you have to go preaching from the rooftops to everyone else how to live, not pillage or thunder no more, but live in boxes. Then she says, Thor, I'm getting me stomach stapled. I look fat. Now fit as two yak skins, where previously it was only one. I say, wench, don't come crying to me when we're in a longboat crossing the straits for two moons. And you're all skin and bones. A man needs something to grab onto. I ain't her fault. A cursed pixie goblin got her. Pixie Goblin, what kind of weird ancient nonsense are you talking about? Now, Thor, I've got to ask you, how old are you? I am as old as a fjords, as young as a newborn lamb. Are you shy about your age? <laughs> Just laugh about it, like my mom. Thor is never shy. Thor is mighty. Thor is a god. And where are you from? From the beginning of the flat earth, where the sun meets the sky. Oh, right. By the beach. Great. Let's take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Thor. He's a real Viking. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you again. Hey, Rossetti. Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah, how many more errands am I gonna have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's gonna sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, all right, but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right, I've done my homework. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during non ugly business. Which is why I'm gonna ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. All right. All right. Get out of my way, Chippy Pepper! Need musical talent to make great music. Just listen. Downtown, this is what the dance is 
see how good you can fight for your patch. The local street gang made the mistake of stealing my hog. Probably because of some machismo thing or something. Me and the boys would go over there and teach them a lesson in respect and all. Anyways, then I got to thinking. This would make a good initiation for you. You get my bike back, you can tell Paul he's got his security. Come on. Come on, come on. Seven months in, through a lassie, she's had a torrent of jazz more than one girl can take. Hey, say hello, man. Hi, Paul. Hey, the rock lifestyle hasn't been too good to her. Man, just go away and sit in a lobby until I finished him. Is she okay? I mean, apart from being an ugly, cheap cow, she looks half dead. Hey, 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 hey. Seriously, man. Did it crap my style? I'm an artist, you know. Uh, okay, Jazzy. So, Jazz, I was listening to your album on my boombox all weekend. Like, how is it? Uh, I mean, you know, you're really totally famous. No, wait, I mean, like, so anyway, how are you? It's cool. 